Hey guys, Kev Tech here bringing you another video on getting back to basics. So today I want to go over how to optimize Windows 7 and Windows 10. This is important because you need to you need to know how to make your computer faster. So I want to go over um, what an SSD is for a computer and what an SSD is for a laptop and a regular hard drive. So we have three different types of hard drives. There's 3.5 hard drive which is a big fat hard drive and there's the 2.5 hard drive which is for a laptop which would be something like this it's like tiny which is a 2.5 hard drive and this is the SSD it's a, it's a mechanical hard drive it doesn't have remove it doesn't have movable parts um, the reason why this is important is because if you have a laptop or a computer that's really old and you want to replace those parts the best thing to do is re replace the memory or or and and or replace the hard drive and you could replace the hard drive with a SSD and I just want to show you what they look like so we have the 3.5 hard drive which is the the typical um, hard drive for a computer if you look at it you, you should know what it is so there's like a Hitachi uh, Western Digital Sony hard drives what you name it and then there's the 2.5 hard drive, which is uh, the small one, which is the one I just showed you just now. And then there's the SSD. And it's this one. This is the ones that come on, on come in a laptop nowadays. Um, there's also these types of hard drives that, that also come on come into the laptop as well. And then if you have a laptop, usually you would you would unscrew it on the left hand side. There's a screw here you're holding down or shutter in place. And then you would just replace the hard drive. If you want a bigger hard drive or a bigger SSD, you would just grab this one, buy a new one, get the serial number, and then replace it. And then um, for people that have a desktop, I would recommend changing it to an SSD, which is these SSDs. And usually they, they typically last about, I say, two to five years, maybe more. Depends how you maintain it. And it depends um, if you obviously update your computer and... Um, you always run the latest updates on your computer, you restart, you leave your computer on all day. Um, it also depends what you put on your computer, I, I can't really say. But but the, I have an SSD on my cu current computer right now that I'm, that I'm actually recording this video on. I had an SSD before on my other computer, it lasted me for 10 years, so typically it depends on the person. So why am I going over this is because, like I said, it's if you wanna if you want to upgrade your computer, you want to look at the hard drive, change change the hard drive to SSD, upgrade the memory, RAM, upgrade memory, and then thing is, uh, people confuse it, memory, RAM, and, S and hard drive, it's two different things. Hard drive is, how, uh, is just storage space. Applications that you install go into the hard drive. And then your memory is applications that run or render. So with, um, processes or things that run or, or run on your computer, like, an example with that would be is yes, before I even go over that, give me a second. I just want to show you something. So I would, I would, if you, if you don't know, if you don't know how to, how to, like, you don't know nothing about your computer and you want information about your computer and you want it for free and you don't want to like kill yourself or pay someone to tell you about your computer, you go into, you go into crucial.com. If you have a Windows 10 machine or 7, you hit, hit the agree terms over here you scan your computer and once it finishes scanning your computer it'll tell you what what memory you could upgrade it to what's the max memory you could upgrade it to but it also tells you if you could replace replace your hard drive with SSD and which one you could buy it to, it gives you like new egg and all these stores you could you could buy it from and stuff like that so this is absolutely free you could download it um, I'll put a link below on in my description if you want to look at this it's completely free all right so so talking about memory, so memory it uh, it controls how many applications you could open. So that's why when you open up your task manager, for people that do control delete and then start task manager, for me I just right click here and hit start task manager. You see your CPU usage and your memory is always going up and down. So the important thing for a computer, if you're buying a computer, is a good CPU, a good memory, a good hard drive, and a good graphics card. If you're working for with with Adobe Premiere or any Adobe products, you want a good computer, a high-end computer with a good CPU, good memory, and a good graphics card. Otherwise, when you try to render CC Adobe Shop or all these other 
applications, they, they start to give you problems. So these, this is really important. So going back to the topic of how to optimize your computer, you need to do a couple of things. And I'm going to show you how to optimize it for free without, you know, paying or buying anything. Just basically you do, doing stuff on your software side of things in order to make it run faster and better. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So the, the one thing I want to go over is MS config. So if you go to the start menu and I'm just going to move this a little bit over here. If you go to the start menu and you type MS config, what this does is it tells you startup. It tells you what items are running. So if you have like an iPhone, you have iTunes installed, it will start up iTunes. You have any plugins, it'll start up the plugins. You have any applications, it'll start up this application. So you could disable all the applications here and then hit OK. It'll prompt you to restart. You will restart your computer and then those applications will start up automatically every time. So I'm not sure um, if you ever have this problem when you turn on your computer and then you have Skype coming up, you have Outlook turning on, you have all these other applications coming on, you don't want them to turn on for some reason. You just go and type MS config in the start menu and you go to startup and you just disable it. Simple as that. That's the easiest way to, fi to fix your computer, to make it faster. Another way to fix your computer is, is uh, your desktop icons. If you have a lot of desktop icons on your computer, your computer will take forever to, to go to the, to the start menu, go to the main screen. If you have a lot of stuff on your desktop, that be, that creates a problem. So you don't want to have too much stuff on your on your desktop. If you do have a lot of stuff on your desktop and you like to, you know, keep your stuff on your desktop, like reasonable is like 10 or 12 items is fine. But when you have like 100 items or more, it will slow down your whole computer and that becomes a problem as well. Unless you have an SSD, if you have a regular hard drive and you have all like a million items on your desktop, it's going to be it's going to be problematic. I'm just letting you know right now. I had a you I had someone I had a client in my job, she she logs into her computer. I'm not gonna say who it is, I'm not gonna say their name, but she logs into her computer. She every day every day we have the same problem. She logs into her computer, it takes forever for her to log into her computer, and we were trying to clear stuff from stuff up on Chrome, Internet Explorer, maybe some cookies and cash, we clear everything out and it still was taking forever. Finally, I looked at her desktop. She had about five gigs of stuff on her desktop. I told her to clear all that out. So she created one folder and put everything in that one folder and it was just on the desktop and she was good after that. So realistically, you have to look at that. Like, like if you have a lot of stuff on your desktop, that creates a problem, not only for you, but also for the IT guy. So just letting you know out there right now. So fix, to fix that, you just clear out the desktop to make your computer faster. Another way to make your computer faster is by going to your C drive, right clicking on your uh, hard drive, hitting properties, and then do disk cleanup. You do disk cleanup, that will clean up your computer, it will clean up any temp files. Every time you open up Chrome, Internet Explorer, or any applications, it puts temp files on your computer. And basically it stores it on your computer. And you, you probably never clear out your temp files before, but if you, if you, if you have a computer that's over a year old, you're gonna have a thousand temp files. Um, and here you can clear it out and it tells you the recycle bin, you have some login, like every time you log into your computer, it creates these log files for you in case you have any issues or anything, it creates log files on the computer itself. So you can just delete that as well. Temp temporary files as well. So a lot of people don't know that, but you have to clear this out because otherwise it slows down your computer as well. Um, I would do the fragmentation as well. If you have a regular hard drive, defrag your computer at least once a month. That will fix your computer as well and make it faster. So if your computer takes forever to turn on, takes more than like 40 seconds to turn on and, or 30 seconds to turn on, you have a problem. You should defrag your computer. If it's a regular hard drive, defrag your computer. Um, so those are the temp files. That would be under your name. So see users. Obviously, if you're not into technology, you will know about this. App data. You hit local. Temp. So this is all the temporary files I have. You would just delete all that. Um, if you've been using a computer for over a year, you probably have a thousand items here, like maybe like 10 to 20 or 40 gigs of stuff you probably don't even know about. Have your IT guy delete it for you. Um, that's basically it. So another thing to make your computer faster is your, um, basically you, you put your computer to run at best performance. Uh, right now it's running at best performance. 
you want to make it and adjust it to run for best like right now it's best performance as in best feature to make it look good you want it to run for best performance to run as a computer which doesn't make any sense to you i'll show you what i mean right now so you go into your computer here or your c drive and you right click on computer and hit properties one way to do it, another way we do it would be start menu right click the computer or hit properties um you hit advanced system settings see where it says performance you hit settings see it just for best appearance right now which is not what i want because it's it's gonna it's really slow right now so right now it's at, it's going up and down it's at seven percent 7% going up to 0%. I added more memory to it just now, like earlier today, so it's running a lot better now. You have a computer that's extremely slow. Um, look at this. Go here. Adjust for best performance. It's going to look a little, a, little, a little strange. Hit OK. Voila. Now it's much better now. You're like, Kevin, I don't like the way this looks down here. No problem. We could, we could fix that for you. You just go into smooth edges and then usual use visual styles of windows and icons. Hit OK. Everything else is uh, checked off. Yep. So it's like clearing out all the animation. It makes it a lot smoother after that. Hit OK. Hit OK. Close out of this. Now it's going to be like two times faster after this. Trust me. Voila. Magic right there. That fixes that problem. Uh, another thing. Go into control panel. Go into... Performance information and tools. You run this thing, it will rate your computer one out of one out of seven point nine. It tells you what's bad in your computer, what's good in your computer. So hit that rate this computer button, and it will tell you what's wrong with your computer. If your memory is bad, is your processor bad, your graphics card is bad, you could do that here as well. You could adjust your visual effects, which is what I did. Hit the advanced settings. Um. And then you hear indexing. Uh, indexing is a little different. I, I'll go over that some other in some other video. That's for searching. If you have issues searching, you will go in there. Power settings. If you have power settings, uh, advanced tools, which is you might want to look at. This is resource monitor. It tells you what's taking up your resources, what's messing with your computer. Um, this is about information about your desktop, your computer. This one here is to adjust your best performance. Same thing again. This defrag, I went over that. This generates a report, a health report for your computer. And uh, that's about it. That's everything you could do on Windows 7. You could do the same thing on Windows 10. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So if you want to save money and you don't want to spend any money, do all this and they'll make your computer run a lot faster. You're thanking me for it later. Um, upgrade the memory, upgrade the RAM. If it's a 64-bit operating system, system type, you could do... You could do eight gigs or more. So, give me a second. This is my brother's messaging me. So you do eight gigs or more of a sixty-four bit operating system. If it's thirty-two bit, you can only do four gigs or less. Um, it's just you can't just add more memory to it. It just doesn't work. The the, the, the motherboard or the make of the model of the computer can't handle it. So, that's uh, important to know if you know nothing about that. I'm gonna show you another way how to make your computer run faster. I can't do it on Windows 10, but you should be able to do it on Windows 7. I'm sure you how to do that right now. Before we do that, let me just show you that you can do the same thing on Windows 10. Look, so you go to the C drive, right click on computer or disk PC, hit properties, advanced system settings, just best performance, hit okay. And that's it, you're, you're all set. I, I, want the, I want the visual Visual shadows and everything, I add that in there, close out of it, that's it, voila, easy as pie. Um, go into the PC, uh, let's see, we're going to go into control panel, show you one more thing real quick, we're going to go into Performance. Check processing speed. Doesn't give me a doesn't really give me a grade here, but it's fine. Yeah, so that's 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 it. That's pretty much it. Um, what was the last thing? Oh yeah, MS Config. So do MS Config. Same thing. Instead, it's called Startup. Instead, 
and it's gonna be called startup. See if I open up um, MS Config on Windows Seven, it's startup as well. So here it's the same. It's pretty much the same thing. You just disable whatever you don't want and hit enable. Same thing. I'm gonna shut that down. So if you don't if you don't wanna if if you have a flash drive, you could actually make your computer faster as well by, by using a flash drive. I know that sounds crazy. Um so there's this thing called Ready Boost. I'm not sure if you ever heard of that. So you do Ready Boost. Ready Boost. Basically it has it on Windows 7, 8.1, 8 and 10. Basically, you I can't do it on my computer. It gives me the error message I can't do it because my computer is already fast as it is. But if you have a Windows 7 machine or a Windows 10 machine, you could definitely do it on the Windows 7 or 10 machine. Um, I'll show you how to do that right now. I plugged in my flash drive already. It's called KevTech. I'm gonna inject it, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it back again. Just like, just sort of pretend as if I'm doing it from the beginning, and it should come back up. And it's pretty cool. So you right click on it, you hit properties, and then you have this tab called Ready Boost. You're like, what the hell is that? So basically, in Ready Boost, you click on it, it gives you the option to use your flash drive as memory as RAM. So basically, you could you could make your hard drive into like a processing power, or like a chip or memory to make it run faster on your computer. So that's that's pretty, that's another way to make your computer run faster if your computer is running extremely slow. You plug in a flash drive, you can use it as memory. Uh, some people don't know don't know about that, but that's actually free, and you can do that if you have a flash drive. You can do it that way as well. So that's pretty much everything about optimizing Windows 7 or Windows 10. Um, that's about it for this video. I hope everyone's having a great day. I know it's a little advanced, and it's a little bit somewhat descriptive. But hopefully, you got got the gist of it. I hope everyone has a great day and a great night and a good evening. Rate, comment, subscribe as always, and. Um, Enjoy the rest of your day. It's been really nice today. It's not that cold outside. Have a good one. Take care. Happy Friday. Happy uh, Tuesday, I guess. Bye.